Welcome into a special edition of the Southern Quality Ford Friday Night Blitz. I'm your host, Tim Owens. We've got a treat for you tonight. 14 games from across the Arklatex, and we start here in Louisiana. Division One state semifinals. Evangel on the road to take on John Curtis. The Eagles in New Orleans. As I said, to take on John Curtis, they strike first. First half, Blake Shapin to Jalen Abraham in the end zone. He makes the grab. PAT no good, Evangel up 20 to 7. Late in the second quarter, John Curtis on a roll, extending the lead. Makai Smith getting the feed, spinning his way through the line and taking it in for the score. They led 35 20 at the half. Second half, Eagles tightening the deficit again with this arm, this time with his arm, finding Anthony Ruffins in the end zone for the touchdown to make it 35 28, John Curtis, but they responded. John Curtis taking care of business tonight. They take down Evangel 56-34 the final. Well, you know, I'm just proud of the effort this year. Uh, these guys had a tough challenge. You know, playing the number one team in the state in all classifications on the road, a fifth seed versus a one seed. We were right in there. We battled hard. And, and so I'm just so proud of the courage and how they came out and fought. And I think it's a testament to their hard work this season and proud of the senior class for their leadership. In 4A, Northwood hosting a quarterfinals game for the first time in school history. Taking on number two, Warren Easton. This is Easton's Assad Clayton on the handoff. Breaks through the contact. Stiff arms the first guy, but can't keep his balance. Clayton, though, hoping to get into the end zone. But he's going to get stuffed by Northwood's Corey Marshall near the goal line. That Northwood defense played really well in the first half of this one tonight. Later, Easton's Lance Legendary. He's going to roll out. He's going to throw on fourth and goal, but an overthrow leads to the turnover on downs. Great stand by the Northwood defense early on. Legend G trying to get the drive going again, but again, Marshall gets him for the sack. The end of the first half, Warren Easton trying to call a timeout, but they don't have one. This game was just 7-0 at the half, but the Falcons season comes to an end. 34-6 the final. In 2A, Manny on the road at Vidalia. They're playing in the mud pit. Doesn't matter, Manny's Terrence Williams didn't seem to be slowed down by anything tonight, including the Vidalia defense. He breaks this one down the sideline for the long touchdown, escorted by a number of his teammates. Tigers strike first. They strike again just a short time later. later. Nick Kendrick Carter takes the toss outside. Ref is in the way, but you can't see it. He's hit, but he's, he's not down. No whistle, no problem. Carter gets the first of two touchdowns in the half. All Manny tonight, 35 Nothing the final. Logansport looking for a little redemption against West St. John in the 1A quarterfinal defensive battle early on. But the Tigers bust out late in the second quarter. Tresman Brown finds an opening in the Rams defense and he busts off a big one. Finally taken down inside the 20 yard line. And then two plays later, check this out. Landon Moon looking for and finding Patrick Mims. Great juggling catch. Logansport took a 7 0 lead into halftime, but they didn't have enough in the second half. The Rams ending their season for the second year in a row. 24-23 the final in that one. Haynesville taking on Del High. Picked this one up first quarter. Already 7-0 tornado with the lead and they were scoring early and often. Edward Critton cruises into the end zone for Haynesville's second touchdown of the night. This one all tornado tonight. 62-29. The final of that one. So much more to come in tonight's special edition of the Southern Quality Ford Friday Night Blitz. We check in on last year's 4A state champions, the Carthage Bulldogs and the Pleasant Grove Hawks coming up next.